What's up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? Pyrostasis here. We are back in the world of Skyrim. We are on our Vampire Queen and uh, did some talking to some various people. Uh, took some feedback from you guys in the last video, basically about whether or not I should take a break from the Dawn Guard quest line and uh, get the Assassin's Guild and the Thieves Guild quest lines knocked out real quick. And some people were like, "Hell, fucking yeah, Pyro! I'll make your tune badass." I was like, I totally agree. And then some people were like, no, dude, finish the Dawn Guard. And I was like, well, yeah, Before there's, there's a good thing you said about rhythm. that. So, um, oh, hang on. My DSS2 just took a dump. I don't know why it does that. For the privilege of entering the city. What does it matter? How about I cut your throat and... All right, keep your voice down. Oh. You want everyone to hear you? I'll let you in. Just let me unlock Anyways, uh, so what we're going to do this week, uh, I'm going to kind of take a break from my normal stuff. Uh, we're going to do Skyrim every day, but we're going to be doing it streaming. So you're going to probably get significantly longer clips this week because um, I'm going to try and stream two hours of Skyrim a day. The flip side is they're not going to be as well edited because it's going to be a live stream. So you're going to hear me talking to people. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube and YouTube only, then you're going to get longer clips and you might get some load times and things that you that I usually try to cut out. Um, if you're into streaming, you're going to fucking love it because we're going to be doing like 14 hours of streaming next week. Be careful, you. The Thieves Guild has Maven Blackbriar. I don't know you. You and Riften looking for trouble. You better hope I'm not. Don't say something you'll regret. I regret nothing. Last thing the Blackbriars need is some loudmouth trying to meddle in their affairs. See, I'm not really loudmouthed. I let my blades talk for me. The Blackbriars have rifted in their pocket and the Thieves Guild watching their back. So keep your nose out of their business. Me? I'm Maul. I watch the streets for them. If you need dirt on anything, I'm your guy. But it'll cost you. Then we're speaking the same language. Good. So what do you want to know? Eh. The only thing I heard is a rumor we go. that a boy named Aventus Aretino in Windhelm we'll be able to start both quest lines really quickly. Brotherhood. He used to live here in Riften at the orphanage on the other side of town, but I think he ran away. Can't say I blame him. You kidding? My brother Dirge works in their hideout. Oh, I had no idea this was his I brother. I used to run with them myself, but took a job with Maven after they started hitting a rough patch. Oh, so you're a if you want little to get bitch. Action, run every Rignall time things goes bad. Place. Gotcha. I'm sure he could use someone like you. Let's see what he says about Blackbriars. Well, you got Maven. She pretty much runs the whole operation. She's got friends in high places, if you know what I mean. She's also got ties to the Dark Brother Damn, and the Thieves Guild, connected. so basically no one can touch her. Just remember, if she tells you to do something, you damn well better do exactly what she says. I think I'm going to finish both storylines and then I'm going to kill Maven, if Maven is killable. Maven may not be killable. Um, I'm in the mood to slice somebody's throat open, so we're going to go do the Dark Brotherhood starter quest real quick. Now, I'm going to start both of these lines and kind of bounce back and forth for fun, shits and giggles this week. Um, and like I said, this is mainly going to be on the live stream, so it's going to be a little short today. Uh, because, like I said, I want to save most of it for next week. But I'm going to try and knock out the Thieves Guild. Uh, I'm not going to do all the repetitive stealing shit. Uh, those quests take... Oh my god, forever. You have to do... I think you have to do five quests in each hold. And they're randomized. Which means... Um, it's just an absolute pain in the ass. No, no. We'll just fucking hoof it up there. So... Wow, I had no idea you were like right here, bro. Don't like those eyes you got. I don't care if you Where like you my eyes. Man, if you don't like somebody's eyes, you don't tell them you don't like their eyes. Back and we'll be it's like, man, you a scary motherfucker. I mean, you don't say that to the big black guy who's walking at you with a crowbar in a dark alley. I mean, you're about to get your face wrecked. You don't want to encourage the face wrecking. I mean, you know, he's just going to beat you up and steal your money. Now you've made him mad. Oh, Pyro, why, 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 why has it got to be black? I mean, I mean, why, I mean, come on. Well, I mean, that's, I guess that's a good point. I just, you know, a scary. Well, I guess there are scary white guys. 
Yeah, I see. I live in Texas, and most of the big white guys here are big because of a nice big beer belly, you know. But some of the, uh, I guess there, there are some pretty scary white guys now that I think about it. Those evil skinhead white supremacist dudes with their big shaved heads and steroid muscles, and yeah, they're they're kind of scary too. All right, well, I think I'm just going to stop talking about different types of scary people before I offend all of my audience. Oh, Pyro doesn't like white people. He don't like black people. I bet he don't like Mexicans either. I love Mexican food. I love it. It's great. That's not what we were talking about. I don't care. Um, anyways, uh, for those of you who are, are unfamiliar with the Dark Brotherhood quest line, um, it's pretty easy to start. Uh, if you can do the speech check, and I have no idea how I did the speech check, I assume it has something to do with my uber vampirism. Um, I, I got the speech check with Maul. Last time I tried that, he pretty much shoved a fist down my throat. And it wasn't pretty. But uh, you can either talk to different folks and find out about Aventuris and Tino or whatever. Or I forget the other way to do it because it's been a long time. But you hear about this kid from a variety of different ways. And basically, Aventus, and I'm going to give you guys the heads up because, well, for a novice, like, this thing is a bitch. I'm going to kind of skip some of the dialogue and not read all the books, but uh, Aventus was, and that's a cool name, by the way, Aventus. I think I'm going to name my, my kid Aventus. Like, Aventus Onus Nubis. I'd have to change my last name to Nubis, though, and that might not work. Sweet mother, sweet mother, send your It's a little creepy, though. This kid got a human heart, or human flesh. And I, I think that's a human heart right there. Yeah. He is. How the fuck did he get those two pieces, and yet he needs somebody to kill? I knew you would! It worked! I knew you'd come! I just knew it! I did the Black Sacrament over and over with the body and the things. It took so long... So very long. My mother, the headmistress, is an Yes, yes. So I ran away and came home and performed the Black Sacrament. Now you're here and you could kill Grawl on the car. I could kill her. That will work out just fine. Anyways, um, it, it requires uh, human heart, human flesh, and a few other things. And basically, you pretty much have to kill somebody to be able to perform the Black Sacrament, which kind of seems to defeat the whole purpose of the damn ritual because you need them to kill somebody yet you got to kill somebody to get them to kill some i've just you know the catch 22 is starting to rotate here so i always thought that was a little funny i mean i guess you know you can walk down to the uh the market and be like oh hi guys i need to i need to buy a human heart and it's not exactly you know you can pick that up at kroger at least i don't think you can i, I don't shop in the human section so maybe maybe some of you can point that out <laughs> I did I did walk through Kroger the other day and I saw like the weird Asian food section. I mean, I like Asian people, but they eat some freaky shit. Like pig feet and like I don't know, duck vaginas as Louis says. I just some weird shit. Just some absolutely weird shit. Cow tongue, just uh, goat heads, maybe not goat heads. Anyways, this is the orphanage, and I, I think I got that quest. I really hope I picked up that quest. I was talking, and yes, yes, I got it. Awesome. Cast some muffle. Let's go stealth-like. Now, the cool thing about this is, unlike most assassination quests, um, apparently nobody likes Grelug. So you can be sneaky about this if you want. Oh, you can walk in and just rape the bitch right in front of everybody. And it's funny because you can slit the girl's throat right in front of everybody. And the uh, the kids celebrate. Like, yay, Grillock's fucking dead. You know, and you're just like, um, okay. And then like the one lady, she just kind of runs around screaming. Here, I'll, I'll show Those you guys. Shirk their duties will get an extra beating. <laughs> an extra Do beating. This lady is such a yes, bitch. Yes, and one more thing. Look, now we'll never know what she was gonna say. It's Just leave here. See? Has Everybody's so happy. 
Except for this this lady here. She's she's a little freaked out. Let me see. Is this does she have the book on her? The pig children. I mean, seriously. That's just mean. That's just fucking mean. Anyways, once you go back and tell Aventus um, that you've capped Grelug rather publicly, and it's it's kind of cool too because you can just walk right out past the guards and nobody gives a shit. Somebody will say like, let me see if I can get the guard to say it. Hang on. Will he say it? No. Maybe I have to go turn it in first. Um, when you walk by, some of the guards will be like, Someone killed Grelog the Kind. Didn't I see you coming out of there? And you're like, um, no. No. Nothing to see here. It's kind of amusing, though. It's like nobody gave a shit. It's like, you know, the guards see you walking out with, you know, blood all over your clothes and blades. They're like, good job, bro. Good job. So legitimately basically she was just an evil orphanage headmaster she was she treated the children like shit she was just she was just mean you know i mean if, if you read that book it's just and i mean you know, when i walked in you know it's like if you're not nice you'll get an extra beating implying that everyone gets a beating all the time it's just she's just not nice not nice at all and i mean children if, if you've watched pyro's videos you know pyro's not exactly the biggest fan of kids but at the same time you know Beating children, that, that takes it a little far. Well, some children. <laughs> I'll have to tell you guys some story. I worked retail for 10 years at GameStop. Well, not 10 years, about 8 years at GameStop. And working retail at GameStop makes you hate kids. And parents, too. Well, we're all of the kind. Is she... Yeah. Oh, yeah, she's dead. Uh -huh. I knew you could do it. I just knew it. I knew the Dark Brotherhood would save me. Here, just like I promised, this should fetch you a nice price. Uh, thank you. Thank you again. Yeah, so he, he gives us a family heirloom, which is like a useless plate, which is really stupid. Letter from the steward? I don't remember this. Oh, yeah, that's basically them saying they're sorry his, uh, his mom died. I remember that now. And sadly, he doesn't have anything else worth stealing. So the heirloom will fetch you like 10 gold, if I remember right. I mean, it's not that bad. It's like 50 or 100 gold, but it's still pretty much worthless. And anyways, from here to start this off, we're going to go ahead and travel to Whiterun. This sometimes takes a few days because apparently she has to hear about it and then come and find you and get mad, etc., etc. But uh, it is one of the cooler quest lines in the game. It does allow you to go and kill quite a few people in some rather ridiculous situations. And some of them, it's almost impossible to do some of the crimes without getting caught unless you're an archer. If you're an archer, it's pretty easy mode because you can just shoot from stealth, one shot everybody, and then it's, it's pretty easy. But if you are an actual blade-wearing assassin, it's pretty difficult because, like... Not to give you too much of a spoiler if those of you who haven't uh, done it, but like you have to wha whack somebody in a wedding with like half of a town around you, and if you're having to do it with knives, there's there's no way. It's just like, wait, you want me to. It's like walking up to. I gotta be careful what I say here. It's like walking up to somebody in like a concert or something and kill people. <laughs> Almost used the. You used a very public figure that you're not supposed to talk about killing, even jokingly. So, it's a good thing I Welcome. don't want the Secret Service Let showing up. Alright, I'd like to rent a room. Sure thing. It's yours for it. Awesome. Anyways, you have to find a place to rent a room. Out of my way, biatch. Sleep in your bed. Um, 24 hours usually does it. But like I said, sometimes it takes a couple days and you can't rest in that room. Uh, for some reason, if you rest in Windhelm where, or wherever, it won't work. I don't know why, but if you leave the town, it'll work. And here we are. We are in the little secret shack. And I believe you can use this as a house afterwards. Sleep well. Now, one thing that's always bugged me about this, look at her right hand. Dry and Why is her hand up on the wall like that? That's not comfy. That's more than can be said for old Grelod. Hmm. I mean, like seriously, put your hand up there like that and lean back like that. It's just like, hey, doesn't work. Oh, but don't misunderstand. 
I'm not criticizing. It was a good kill. Old Crone had it coming. And you saved a group of urchins to be Not like you care. But there is a slight mm, problem. You see, that little Aretino boy was looking for the Dark Brotherhood. For me and my associates. Grelod the Kind was, by all rights, a Dark Brotherhood contract. A kill that you stole. A kill you must repay. Well now, if you turn around, you'll notice... You see... Blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna skip make this. Make your choice. Make your kill. Am I to take... Then you know where we stand. Okay. Make your kill and we're square. Now you have a couple options the here. Your debt is but a discreet knife thrust away. Oh, shut up. You have a couple options here. If you want to join the Dark Brotherhood, you can uh, kill one of these people, all of these people, a few of these people, uh, or you can kill her. If you kill her, then you miss the Dark Brotherhood quest line. Whoever this is, clearly we got off on the wrong foot. Now these people are not exactly nice folks. Any of them. And I don't like them. What Especially happened? this bitch here. Damn it, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, that's right. Getting some nice skill ups though. Let me live. I'll do anything you want. Now. See if the soccer mom had said that, we might have had a deal, but you know. Guys willing to do whatever I want doesn't really work for me. Well, well. Aren't we the overachiever? Hm. When most would speak, you listen. You think. Of course. And you've repaid your debt in full. Here's the key to the shop. I would like to officially extend to In the southwest reaches of Skyrim, in the Pine Forest... Yep, yep, yep. When questioned by the Black Door, answer with the correct passphrase... Silence, my brother. I'll see you at home. Anyways, uh, one of the other things is if you have the stealing perk, you can actually steal the uh, Blade of Woe from her once we get to the Dark Brotherhood. I don't think you can do it here. Um, oh, I forgot to loot these guys. Do they have anything worth? Now, the Execution Hood is actually a wearable item. It's kind of a rare item. If you want one, loot it here. If you don't give a shit, then don't. Um, ooh. That's actually selling pretty good. We'll leave the rest of it. And I believe you can use this as a house from here on and store shit in this chest, but I'm not entirely sure about that. So don't hold me to that in case I'm wrong. The other nice thing is, if I remember right, this place is close to one of the... Uh, I think it's the Companions quest lines. So if you do this before you do the Companions quest lines, getting to uh, one of the Wuthrad dungeons is pretty nice and close. And I don't think it's going to let me teleport out because there's usually something on the ground nearby. Yep. Always. There's always something here. And it always pisses me off. There's like mud crabs or some shit hiding here. So you always have to get distance even though you can't see it. And not far enough. Come on! Oh, here we go. Spiders. Nice spiders. Nice spiders. Oh well. Who might must have you be? On. Brilliant. You speak to a vigilant of Stendar. Cavort with <laughs> and we will hunt you. I'm a fucking vampire lord. And any other abominations that prey uh, on mortals. Oh. Vampires, werewolves, witches. <laughs> but the Daedra are the worst. Their callous disregard for our lives is abhorrent in the eyes of the God of Mercy. Should we tell him we're vampires? None escape the vigil. <laughs> For somebody whose entire life is devoted to hunting vampires, witches, and werewolves, yes. he's not real good at his job, considering we're both vampires. <laughs> it's like the poor bastard doesn't even know we're vamps. Anyways, guys, uh, this was a little bit of a short video. I do apologize for that, but we're going to be streaming a lot of Skyrim this week. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to pick up with the Paladin, and we're going to do some of the uh, Companions Tree. 
or companion's quest line. Try to get to the werewolf setup, turn him into a werewolf, and start moving through that quest line. Uh, then we're going to be finishing up the Thieves Guild and the Dark Brotherhood quest line. We'll do the Nightingale series so that I can get to that invisibility. And holy shit, at that point, I will be so overpowered. It, it won't even matter. I mean, with the vampire ability, you get a 60 second invis. I have the invis stone, which gives me like a 60 second invis. The nightingale ability gives me a 60 second invis. Illusion, I believe, has an invisibility spell. Uh, when you finish the quest lines, you get a plus 35% bonus to stealth plus muffle boots. I mean, holy shit. The only thing they're missing is giving me like a thermonuclear weapon so that I can just rape the entire world. So we're going to move on with those come tomorrow. Tomorrow's quest or stream will be from 2 p.m. Central till I need to take a break. So probably 2 to 4, 2 to 5, maybe 2 to 6, depending. If we get a big turnout, then I may stream all night long. And then uh, we will pick up on Wednesday, probably sometime between 4 and 6. And then we'll go till either 6 or 8. Again, unless we have a big turnout, in which case we'll go, you know, till I get tired. Anyways, hope you guys are liking this quest series. Uh, for those of you who like Dawn Guard, I'm going to hurry as fast as I can to chew through this other content real quick, and then we will get back to Dawn Guard ASAP. I do believe we're pretty close to finishing it on the Paladin, though, and uh, obviously we're about midway through on the Vamp. So we'll get that picked up probably on Thursday and Friday. Um, I may stream that if folks are really digging the stream and then just uploading the stream afterwards. Otherwise, I'll just do it on YouTube like normal. Hope you guys are liking the series. If you do, please click that like button. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my other videos, tips, tricks, and guides. And I'll catch you guys in the next clip.